hello people my name is Mark and welcome to my channel and welcome to my cargo trailer all right so approximately a month ago a little bit more than a month ago I installed this uh, carpet now I found the carpet on Facebook marketplace I paid fifty dollars for it uh, it's supposedly some a uh, wool carpet which can be quite expensive uh, I'm no carpet expert, so I, I, I couldn't tell you if it, it really is or isn't, but I don't have any reason to suspect that the lady was lying to me. Uh, it took me two days to install this carpet, mostly because I spent a day uh, making these wooden trims to hold the carpet down, just a little piece of uh, three-quarter by three-eighths. But I sanded it down a little bit and pre-drilled them and I had to uh, cut them on the table saw to get them the size that I wanted. And then it took another day to uh, put down the carpet. I installed this carpet so that it's fairly easy to remove should I choose to ever do that. In fact, I will be doing that when I uh, put in some motorcycle mounts. There's a, uh, a center stand or whatever, uh, uh, a pop-up type uh, wheel chalk, they call them, that I'll be putting in here as well as some tie-downs. And there's tie-downs in the corners which are obscured now, and I'll, I'll want to uh, make those useful again. So eventually the carpet will be coming out in order to do those things. Now carpet isn't uh, light, right? I mean, it's probably weighs 70 pounds or something, 50 pounds minimum. I'm not even really sure. Uh, but, you know, when you're trying to keep the weight down in your trailer, uh, carpet is kind of an unnecessary luxury. And that's exactly why I put it in, for luxury. Uh, staying in the cargo trailer in the winter time the floors are very cold and of course i use my heater uh to heat the place during the night time and uh so every little bit of insulation helps and it's just it's just nice on the feet to, to roll out of bed and step on this fine carpet as opposed to uh you know a bare plywood floor or you know the little rug that i had previously so anyway here's the finished product uh the rest of the video is me uh putting the product or uh, putting the carpet in and if you're into watching me do some work well then have i got a treat for you of course the jet airplane has to come by right as soon as i start talking but that's just the way it is we're not going to worry about it so i just got this carpet off of Facebook Marketplace, $50. It's kind of thin, but supposedly it's wool, a wool carpet. Now it measures about seven feet by 12 feet. And my cargo trailer is about six foot by 12 foot up to the point of the Vinos. So, the uh, sky is threatening. I think it's going to rain today, so I'm not going to do this work today, but maybe soon, within the next few days, I'll get this installed in my cargo trailer. It does have a blemish right here. The back side of this area has got a little worn out spot. Actually, there's two of them. One there, that's the hole. And then this little spot right there where the backing is kind of destroyed. I suppose I could fill that up with some kind of a glue. Put a little patch on there, maybe some carpet tape or something just to hold it together so it doesn't deteriorate. But other than that, it seems like it's real nice. Maybe I should have offered her 40. But anyway, I'm happy. Uh, I like, I, I, I was going back and forth on whether to get thick carpet for our value 
or thin carpet for ease of installation. And then I don't have to really modify uh, the bed as it interfaces with the floor. I think I can just fit this underneath and it'll be fine. All right, here's where I'm gonna put that carpet. And I'm gonna just put it down kind of in a temporary manner, in a manner that I can pull it back up if I want to, and I'm, I'll am i need to. Uh, I'm not done with the motorcycle mounts yet, like I have them in the four corners as originally installed on the trailer, but I'm gonna add some uh, in the aisle area where the motorcycle would go. So when I do that, I'll end up taking the carpet out in order to do it. And I'd like to cut the carpet nicely around the mounts. And I'm not prepared to do that currently. One of the issues that I'm gonna to have to deal with is I want to use this little trim. This is a, uh, a tile trim for, uh, for ceramic tiles. I want to use this trim at the doorway uh, and this other trim and these large screw heads are kind of uh, keeping it in the way. So I'm gonna take that out and see if it's necessary. I don't know if it's entirely necessary to be there. And then the other area that I have to deal with is back here. And I think I'm just gonna either use a trim the same as the doorway and butt the carpet to the trim or just butt the carpet up against this uh, screen door tape uh, and, and then maybe put a trim piece of wood over the top that I can screw down. Now, to keep the carpet down temporarily, I'm going to create some trims and uh, put the carpet down and then put the trim down and push it down hard and then put a screw into it. This is some wood trims I have left over from doing the ceiling work and the trailer remodel. And I thought I would just create some trim pieces about this size to hold that carpet down just push it down pre-drill some holes run a screw into the uh, baseboards so I'm, I'm gonna need to fire up this saw and trim this down I see there's a large knot right here so it'll probably break but that's okay not a big deal if I have to have a joint in my one long piece because I have a basically a 10 foot span that would be nice if it was a single piece but it doesn't have to be the legs for the bed they're pretty loose generally I'm sure that once I put weight on the bed they get tighter but you can move them around so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove them, leave the bed attached to the wall, but remove the legs, install the carpet, and then put the legs back in. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna trim them, though I might. I might have to trim them a tiny bit, but I'd rather be able to, to remove the carpet and have them as they are now. So I'll see if I can fit them in there uh, and if I have to trim them a 16th or an 8th, well, then that's what I have to do. I'll just remove that E-Track entirely because I don't plan on moving the motorcycle in this trailer until next year at best.
square drive seems a little small. Phillips to the rescue. got some trims made three quarters of an inch by three eighths of an inch basically and I've laid them out so I'm gonna make that one continuous because uh, it's gonna be the most visible and then under there those pieces will be continuous from corners to corners this piece is going to be split in half. It'll be under the bed and not noticeable. And if I need to do something in the back, I either need to get a longer one or uh, use a piece somewhere or cut, cut two longer pieces. I, something, I'll have to do something if I don't put trim back there. I'm thinking just, just the wood to hold the edge of the carpet down might be most efficient. But I'll, I'm going to start trimming these to fit. I've got some little miter cuts I'd like to do on these trim boards. So I swapped out the table saw for the miter saw. trimmed out hi poopers hi 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 i've trimmed out 
the perimeter in my uh, three quarters by three eighths wood. Now I want to sand that all down and pre-drill it before I install it. Well, before the carpet goes in, I'm gonna sand it down. So that's the next step. pre-drilled and sanded all the trims so that they're uh, basically ready to be installed. And uh, I, I'm not going to worry about putting in the carpet today. It's already six o'clock. Um, so I'm going to set up our beds again and uh, get started on it in the morning. And... I think I'm going to bring the carpet inside so that it can be in the heated space tonight. And uh, I'll leave the heat on tomorrow morning. And when I'm ready, I can just uh, roll it out and it'll be nice and warm and not not too cold. I've, I've seen the carpet guys, they, they like to work with warm carpet versus cold carpet. It is day two of the carpet saga. About one o'clock in the afternoon. I've cleared out the trailer, but the legs that are near the wall need to come out. And that's real easy. It's just two screws. 
per leg. So that just takes a minute to uh, get those out. I've laid out the carpet in the driveway up front. You'll see it soon enough. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut the carpet outside uh, at least to width, the width of the trailer, six feet wide, and I'll, I'll keep it full length, 12 feet, and cut that in at the front. At least that's the plan. I'm no carpet expert. I've, I've put carpet in my own house, and I patch and repair carpet in the past, you know, as a remodel thing. Uh, but I'm no expert, that's for sure. I rolled up the carpet the opposite direction that it had been rolled up because it was kind of wrinkly and I didn't think it would sit flat without letting it rest in a different direction, I guess. Hi, poopers. What you doing? Hi. Hi. All right, I, uh, I had the thought that I would put the carpet underneath this trim that was here. And so I started prying on it a little more forcefully and it budged. And I bent it a little bit getting it out, but I think it'll still work. So I'm going to leave that off for a minute, put the carpet in and then put that over the top of the carpet and that'll hold it down at the threshold there.
All right, I've got it cut to length or cut to width, and it's not really too much longer than the point uh, of the V-nose up there. Uh, so I'm gonna wrestle it around and get it in place. And uh, I just put on the GoPro up here to do a time-lapse. So hopefully that's aimed correctly. If it's not, I'm sorry. I had opened up this ramp door and screen door to wrestle it in there. I need to fold the front back a little bit so that this part goes inside the trailer. And this is my factory edge over there and I'm gonna keep it straight against that wall, hopefully. Trim this side. It's nice to walk on. Feels good. I think it's gonna be nice. Boy, what a struggle it is to cut carpet. Definitely uh, not used to hard work. But it's laying in there. Still got to trim it in. Uh, but I thought maybe I'll start putting down this trims over here to hold it down and then uh, maybe work this other side. Just making it up as I go along. And of course, uh, the trims are all right here. That was one of the bad spots. I managed to uh, not include it. I think that was the worst one. It was kind of pretty weak right there. The other one would be way up in the front where it doesn't matter. It'll never matter up there, especially for 50 bucks. So how I'm going to do this is, is I'm going to hold the trim down with a board and I put my weight on it and then pre-drill the hole and get a screw in there. I've got little one inch drywall screws, but I just want to put pressure down on the carpet so that it stays in place.
and I've got the trim up to about the middle over there. And I've trimmed in the carpet underneath there so that it fits a little tighter. I still gotta trim in this. I think that's what's next. And uh, I think it's highly likely that I'll be living with ripples for a little while. Hopefully it lays down after a while. We'll see. It's not the end of the world if I have ripples. All right, I've been working and uh, it's a bit wrinkly, but that's okay. I've got that piece in, but it's not screwed down yet. I've got the trims around the perimeter and I had to decide what to do back here. And so I have a piece of, this is called Schluter Strip. And it's meant for tile, as an edge for tile. Uh, but I'm gonna use it for carpet. And I'm gonna slide the carpet in the little notch there, the little, little area. And then once I have it in place, I'll cover it by fastening this trim of wood over the top of it. And I think that'll look pretty nice. We'll see. I got this back section put down, mostly. There's a bolt head sticking up right there that's messing up my, uh, my plane, but whatever, I'm not worried about it. All right, I need to uh, get my legs back under the bed. All right, I've tried to put in my legs and uh, it's, it's very tight. I think it's too tight. I'm gonna, this one went in kind of okay. It, it's very tight, but I think on these other ones, I need to trim them down. I'm gonna start it like an eighth of an inch and see how that works. Might go a little more, but I don't wanna take away too much. I think that's done. I just got to put my bed, bed back together and get Gypsy's bed back together. We've got the hiccups.